actually, you know what? There was a team that was not playing at all yesterday that we really expected to be playing. And actually, before we get into the wild card round, I want to be petty. And I want to talk <laughs> about the fact that um, there was a team that scored the most runs across Major League Baseball this season with 886. And they are the Arizona Diamondbacks. And we didn't forget Zach Gallon's tweet last year talking about the Phillies' next opportunity to buy a ticket is for spring training once they got knocked out of NLCS. Well, how about not making the playoffs at all? We anticipate the Braves might not make the playoffs, but it was actually the Arizona Diamondbacks that didn't make the playoffs. And uh, yesterday, I will say, with all the eight teams that were playing and all the action going on, and honestly, the games were really good. All four of the games were very good games. It also reminded me, like, to see it actually physically happen, was that moment of wow? The Diamondbacks really are not in the playoffs. Like yeah. it's, it was the the like we've said it, we've seen it, we saw them eliminated, and our our friends over at PHNX uh, D- Diamondbacks. I'm sorry, but to actually see it in real time in real life was crazy. Yeah, at least when we <laughs> lost the World Series, we made the playoffs the next year. Um, they can't say the same. It's tough. Uh, it's why MLB playoffs. You know, like wild tar- card teams can get hot and go on a run. And it's not to say the Diamondbacks. You know, aren't a good team, but uh, that's that's a tough pill to swallow. Not making mm. the playoffs the next year, and real weirdness happening out there with their owner just absolutely eviscerating Jordan Montgomery. I guess he's going with the approach since Montgomery has a player option next year. Of hey, we're gonna make this so awkward and uncomfortable for you. Maybe you'll just leave. And if I'm Jordan Montgomery, I go, ha ha, middle finger to you, sir. I will collect my twenty six million dollars <laughs> and force your hand to Petty. trade me. Good luck. Um, yeah, like just weird vibes. Uh, I've never really heard, heard too many owners come out as directly, uh, as he did, uh, at Jordan Montgomery. He blamed himself for pushing the team into signing them. And basically he failed us and let us down. Uh, it's like an awkward off out there in, in the desert. So, um, there's no way Jordan Montgomery's not collecting the $26 million <laughs> next year. Uh, he'd be insane not to, but uh, I would imagine Jordan Montgomery gets traded probably on the earlier side of next season. It's just crazy. Your team doesn't make the playoffs. And then to add insult to injury, you have your owner just your dropping owner up people's dragging elbow. <laughs> your Folks are throat. catching strays here and you're dragging a, a, honestly a big roster move that you made for this season in bringing yeah. in Jordan Montgomery to then turn around and like, but like, like within days, you, there, how does he not realize the rest of the locker room hears these words exactly. too? And if like, I'm a player, you're just I don't a care bad how, culture. I don't care. Let's use t- Tyron Walker as an example. Oh, you don't think John Middleton thinks <laughs> if, the same thing about Tyron Walker, Walker was to get attacked by John Middleton. I'm like, whoa, that says a lot more about John than it does for Taiwan. Yeah. Because yeah, every, you want every player to perform, especially when you're paying them so well. And you're giving them these, you have these expectations for them. But to then turn around and, and completely badmouth bad them is bad an vibes. awful move as an owner. And and on top of that, again, your team just lost yeah. and got eliminated to even make the playoffs. So you're going to have, they're already pissed off about that because they, again, had the most runs scored in, across the league. They, of course, had a, a nice deep run last year, the, the World Series. Coming in with expectations, and you don't even meet the playoffs. And then your owner is badmouthing bad one of your teammates. Awful, awful time. Yeah. There's a politically correct way. If I'm Corbin Carroll, I'm just kind of filing this yeah, one away. Of like, like, all right. Oh, this, cool. This is how you treat high-paid guys that maybe have a poor season. I mean, granted, it's only, like, who's to say? Jordan Montgomery could come back next year. Exactly. And, and, and then be what? productive again. And, like, it's just weird. Um, so if I'm a young Diamondbacks player, I'm looking at that and just going, like, Ew. Well, and guys, Jordan Montgomery wasn't the only issue. No, with that's, no that's the other thing. They're How do you put was, all that on him? The Eduardo Rodriguez missed a year. lot early. He was struggling. Like they were all struggling. They, they sc- this team scored almost 900 runs this year. A team that scores 900 runs should definitively be a playoff team. Yeah. The reason they weren't is because their run differential was only ended up being 98. That's crazy. They gave up 788 runs this year. <laughs> guys, there was only four teams in baseball this year that gave up more runs than the Arizona Diamondbacks did. You guys want to take a guess at who they might be? Uh, let me guess. Uh, Chicago White Sox. <laughs> that would be one. All White right. Sox are 500. Wait, uh, that gave up more runs? Gave up more runs. Washington Nationals. Um, uh, no, the Nats gave up less. They gave oh, up 30-some-odd oh, oh, oh. less How runs. How about... No, because... Marlins. No, the, the Marlins nice are swing. on there. Angels. The Angels are on oh, there. Oh, I'm so bad at this game. And I Rockies. Think, and the worst pitching staff oh, the- in baseball this year... Was the Colorado Rockies? Okay. All right, so that makes guys, sense. Uh, just think about it. You give up seven hundred eighty runs. That's weird. It's like the four worst teams in uh, baseball. <laughs> wow. 
wow, crazy how that happens, isn't <laughs> it? Math, math 63, thing. 62, 61, 41 wins. Do real baseball guys teams. know how to crack the code like that? Like we just did? Like run scored? Is that <laughs> is that a real baseball I, guy I discussion? Know, man. Are we know. allowed to do that? Um, so to, to sit here and just put the blame, the onus directly on just yeah, Jordan just Montgomery. That's Holter. the other thing. It's not very, fair. Yeah. I actually wouldn't even mind if he took the accountability. Like this is the time He did. To he win. said I was the one that pushed. Yeah, but no, it. but you don't then put it on Jordan Montgomery. You say <laughs> I as the owner have yeah. to set my team up to be more successful. It's on me yeah, to make advice. decisions for the roster, for the future. But you don't you don't n- drop somebody's name in that. Yeah. You know, Man like this is the time to hold yourselves, <laughs> yeah. hold yourselves accountable instead of Pointing the blame at other people. Because John Middleton and, uh, definitely feels that way oh, about Taiwan Walker. We all Walker, feel that way. But he would never say that because it's a bad culture and you want players to want to play for you. And that's Philadelphia is a, pot, a place that people want to play. Yeah. yeah. It's just, it's terrible. I just sure. also think that's one of those things that don't have to be said. No. Like, we all know... We all know why we came like, up short this year. If you watch all season, we have to work you know it. Jordan Montgomery struggled, just like you know... And Taiwan Walker's catching a strike, but it's a great example. You know he struggled all season. We don't need you to say it. We don't need you to n- to come out and say that was a bad contract. We messed up. Jordan Montgomery also struggled this season. I cut him off my fantasy yeah. team for a reason. Um, but bad but, vibes out in the desert. Yeah, very very bad vibes.